Um, I'm not here for an exact review. Let's just have a ratchet moment, okay? So when I say ratchet moment, I, I mentioned this before that I have an unhealthy addiction to um, reality TV, which I consider in general ratchet doesn't matter who it's, if it's white people, black people, whatever, I don't care. Reality, reality TV is pretty ratchet because it's, it's bull, it's malarkey. But I do watch it. I do watch reviews of it on YouTube. And I kind of want to talk about freaking Black Ink Crew. Now, I watched the New York version because I'm a New Yorker. Um, I got that New York pride. But I also watched the Chicago one, which premiered last week. Actually, they had the show on the VH1 app uh, like weeks before. And I watched it. I watched it once. And um, I just kind of want to talk. <laughs> I'm not going to review. I just want to talk about like... What the hell? Okay, let me talk about the girls, because the girls is what what the girls are what bothered me on this episode. Now the men are gonna well actually we shouldn't excuse the men, but I'm just gonna talk about the women. So I think the girl's name is Charlemagne or Charmaine or whatever. She is uh, the tattoo shop's manager. There's such illogic to her situation. I think the women bothered me because they reminded me of my younger self. I mean, I assume they're like 22, 23. They're like stupid young. And I don't mean stupid in a condescending way. And I don't mean young, stupid in a condescending way. I just mean that, you know, when you have... And I'm, when you're that young, you don't realize the flaws of logic. So she hooks up with that guy. I forgot his name. I think his name is Thor or something. I'm sorry, I didn't look it up. I'm just doing this on the cuff because I just finished Scandal. And I gotta watch How to Get Away with Murder again, so whatever. I just had this on my mind, and it's been bugging me. So, she likes Thor. No, I think Thor is the blonde who likes the other chick. So, she likes the dude with the baby mama whose name is Ashley. I remember the women's name, but not the men, funny enough. So, she likes that guy. And she has sex with him at work. <laughs> Kudos to her bravery. And she anticipates a relationship. He didn't take her out on a date. She's never seen his house. It wasn't even in a bed. But she thinks that this is going to be a relationship. Mind you, he lives with the baby's mother, his baby's mother. He lives with her. Like, I don't understand. Like, I was watching this like, huh? Now, I was foolish, okay? I, when I was young, I was foolish. Um... I'm a Virgo, so I'm not necessarily, I'm kind of a, I'm not even going to review my business, but I was foolish for boys, but not that foolish. You don't hook up with them before you, they even take you out, like there's no date, you just gotta, you just gotta twerk on them and think that this is going to be a relationship, you kiss them in front of your coworkers, like y'all are booed up, but you don't know where he lives, you probably don't know his middle name, you don't know his favorite color, like, I don't... I'm confused. <laughs> Let's talk about the other girl. She's like half black, half Korean or something like that. Um, beautiful. I mean, you know, like, yeah, she's she's a pretty girl. Um, she's half naked for the most part. No judgment. You, you, you think you got it? Flaunt it. Fuck it. I don't care. You like it. I love it. Um, my problem with her is, and I think she's the one who has a thing with Thor. Thor is all grabbed up on her, touching up on her. I forgot her name, actually. He's she's grabbed up on he's grabbed up on her touching her and she's like oh no oh no and in the confessional she's saying well you know sometimes I give him a kiss to shut him up what what okay so men are pretty simple in the sense where you know if you dress a certain way they're gonna treat you a certain way if you conduct yourself a certain way they're gonna treat you a certain way because they keep it real simple we women like the complex thing and I don't mean to sound sexist but. And I'm a feminist and a womanist, so I don't usually like to uphold these certain stereotypes, but it's been my experience 85% of the time is true. If you conduct yourself and dress in a certain way, they're going to treat you a certain way. So he's touching up on you, and you are saying you kiss him to shut him up. You don't think those are mixed signals? Does she actually like him, or is she just... She likes the attention... Does she really think kissing him is going to stop him from feeling her up? Like, what? what is that? I'm confused. <laughs> and I guess that's what's bothering me. I'm like, what? Like, no. 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 And then let's get to Ashley. Ashley is 
the baby's mother of the dude who is messing with Charmaine, right? So she finds, she, she does the drive-by. She goes to his job. First off, she's pissed that he's working late, that he's not telling her what time he's, he's going to get home. Uh, warning sign, uh, when a man is committed to you, he comes home. That's, it's just very simple. He will come home. He will make time for you. It's very simple. Like, and it's, it's taken me a long, I'm not an expert by any means, but it, I, I finally accept it's so simple with it. Simple as hell. So she's like all pissed off. Oh, when you're coming home, he's like, I don't know. I gotta work. So she does the drive-by on him. He is busy getting his pee-pee felt on by Charlemagne doing her little twerking thing. She flips the freck out on him, hits him upside the head. Oh, don't come home, don't come home. She's hooping, hollering, yelling. Then she goes to talk to Charmaine, and Charmaine's like, ah, I'm not a bitch. Don't call me a bitch, I have a name. Now, right, you don't know her from a can of paint. She has no loyalty to you. Don't call her out her name. You don't know her. You don't know what she's been through. You shouldn't call another woman out their name. However, why are you mad at her? She obviously didn't know about you. He lied to you. He lied to you saying he was working, he's drinking, and having girls twerk on him. Why are you mad at her? Why aren't, you mad, why aren't you mad at him? And even still, if you say, don't come home, right? Don't come home. What else is there to say? Why are you so... This is my thing. If you are done with somebody, if you're saying, don't come home, we're through, be through. Just say we're done. I will pack your boxes. You could come pick them up tomorrow, and we're through. But the fact that she was engaging it, the fact that she was in the tomfoolery, creating more tomfoolery says to me that she's going to take him back and she's going to forgive him. And that means to him that it's okay for him to act like this. No. No. It... You know, women, I've noticed the tendency to act like there's a low male, hetero, female to male ratio. And there, it's a lie. It's a lie. Maybe there is. Maybe technically there is. But I am a strong believer in there's someone there for you. If this person's not giving you what you want or what you need, you are better off alone. You're better off single. You're better off with yourself, living your life, doing your thing. And then eventually someone's going to be enamored with you doing yourself, doing your life, doing your thing. And you'll have a partner if you're supposed to. Like, if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Like, I, I can't, I can't with this flawed logic <laughs> <laughs> with the well, we're gonna be in a relationship but I don't know his middle name but I'm gonna I know what his penis looks like what? like no you're not supposed to know what his penis looks like before you know his middle name like I'm old school I'm old-fashioned I think that's what it is I'm old-fashioned and um and it's not aggravating I'm all hyped up right now talking about it because I'm a passionate person that's how I convey my feelings but like I I just I just wish somebody would smack some of these girls with some self-esteem. Not smack literally, just metaphorically smack. Just, just, just dri how about this? Drizzle down some self-esteem so that they could recognize that they don't have to deal with bullshit. They don't have to deal with bullshit. You don't. Live your life. Live your life and what is for you will come to you. And it's, it's just that simple. So that is my ratchet moment uh, for Black Ink Crew Chicago. Uh, I think that it was... The episode was called Chicago 101. Again, I just watched it once. I'm sorry I'm missing details, but this is not a review. Okay, so tell me your thoughts and feelings about Black and Crew, Chicago, especially in comparison to New York. I think they're much put together than New York. However, the girls, I think it's, it's, I think it's bad for all of them all around. Like, the, the self-esteem and all that is, is all messed up. And it, I know it takes years to figure it out, but sweet fancy moses all right i'll see you in uh how to get away with murder i don't think i'll have it up tonight i think i'm going to do my notes and then bring it to you tomorrow morning when i'm in better spirits and i'm not sleepy okay talk to you tomorrow bye <laughs>